and welcome to Pool Pro Office mini demo series. Today's mini demo will be a brief overview of Pool Pro Office and the features within our office management software solution. Pool Pro Office was the very first that specialized in social distancing while maintaining productivity and communications on your projects, either, either at the office, at home, out in the field, or as service techs on iPads. It's your data all in one place in the cloud using Pool Pro Office. And welcome to Pool Pro Office version 15.0. Yes, that's 15 years of providing software solutions and technology solutions to pool builders. In communications, welcome to the 15.0 mini demo project management for pool builders. I'll kind of review the home screen. The home screen, which everyone lands, uh, has many different options and areas to go to to manage whatever phase you need to manage. Up top, we have the ability to go to any active construction uh, digital folder at any time. Any of the ones under construction, we can go directly to the folder and open it up. We can search for a product, a customer, whether it is an existing customer under construction or completed, or we can also search for specs, the specifications. So we can do a search for specifications. We can select and search for a service order. Someone called in, they have a service order number, you can go find that service order number immediately. Documents and forms is an area for you to store your existing documents that you use throughout the office, view them, print them, so you have a digital library of all your documents and forms in one place. Notifications allows management to create notifications, display on a timeline, or delete. The Ask Project Pro is your help button. You have a question managing your software, or a question on something, or a request, you fill it in, you email it, and we get to answer it. Uh, along with the Ask Project Pro, we also have the built-in training videos for you to view to assist you in setting up your solution and maintaining it. We also deliver the news, the APSP, we offer the Pool Spa News, Aqua Magazine, so the major features we do give you a uh, direct link to their websites and their magazines. There's Pool and Spa News. You also have the ability to create your custom connections. You name them, we link them. Uh, this will link you to your manufacturers and suppliers without leaving the Pool Pro Office solution. On the left-hand side, we have leads, projects, and services. And these are three major footstools of the Pool Pro Office. In leads management, we allow you to create your new lead that brings you to a digital folder to fill in the, all the information. We can do a search for a lead. That will allow you to search existing database for a client that maybe have called in two years ago and had an estimate to give to the correct designer. We can search our leads database by active, inactive, sold, or lost. Let's go active because that's where you're going to spend most of your time managing your leads. It'll have the most current one that you received by date. Uh, the quick view, it's like an Excel spreadsheet, except for the fact that this is interactive. I can actually manage this lead from this page, which you can't do from Excel spreadsheets. You can't email the customer from the Excel spreadsheet. You can't pick up the phone and call them and text them. Yes, you could write notes. You can, uh, can't set appointments on a calendar from your Excel spreadsheet. Uh, you can't go to the location map from your Excel spreadsheet. Survey map and location. So it's more of an area for the designer to manage your leads more efficiently and effectively in this quick view. Let's to end also mark where this customer is hot and cold. Let's go to a lead folder that you would create when you got a new lead. Uh, it will create a digital lead folder that allows you to assign it to the designer, first contact date, customer information, lots of notes, phone number, and email. 
what they were looking for, and where did this lead come from to manage your advertising campaigns. Once you've captured all that information, you email it to the designer immediately. They'll have this information to contact the customer. You can also create a custom HTML introductory letter to email that to the client as soon as they get off the phone, thanking them for contacting you, links to photo galleries, to YouTube channels, to social media, and products and features you're going to talk about. It's a great buyer's guide as soon as they get off the phone. Now that that salesperson has this lead, they can manage that lead, and this is their sandbox to work within. They can look at the survey questions that you customized to ask the right questions and get the right answers. They can, again, go to the maps, either in PPO or on their mobile device, and pull up the location of where they're going to give this proposal. They can get directions. They can view their appointment calendar or view their set appointments on that appointment calendar. They can store all those files and documents, pictures of the backyard, 2D drawings, 3D drawings, uh, estimates, proposals. So it's a digital file cabinet. So I no longer had to carry around manila folders from house to office to around the world. Sales process. This is a defined customizable sales process that enables the salesperson to know when the last time they met with a customer. It also enables them to create custom email templates that they can push and engage this customer through that process. Communications enable the designer to communicate with this customer, send out emails. This was a template email that was sent out at time of uh, setting that initial appointment, thanking them for the opportunity, uh, the need for this property survey at this appointment, what we're going to discuss at the first appointment, yard access, homeowners association. So you can keep the customer informed with the push of a button in sales process that send out these custom email templates, keeping them engaged. Another one is after you finish a proposal, just a nice uh, thank you letter. And these templates are in there that you can customize. If you have an Excel spreadsheet, you can pull it up right here, price this pull out, save it in documents and forms. Or you can go to our perfect project pricing. Uh, we have standard two uh, estimate templates in there, a new pool and a remodel. This enables you to customize those templates or start from scratch and build custom templates to create an estimate. And then the designer, all they have to do is fill in quantities. This is an example of a custom proposal developed in perfect project pricing in Pool Pro Office. It enabled me to either pull in a generic cover page that I had pre-built or a custom cover page with the client's name and image in it. It gave me an itemized proposal for what they chose, the base pool, the pool specs, uh, engineering, shell extras, dig, demo. You have a list in that pricing program that you just quick quantities and it displays the amount. And it will create a very clean, sophisticated, itemized proposal with a total contract amount down at the bottom. You also have the ability to move this into a contract. You also have the ability to add a custom back cover page. And then this one was a three page PDF that talked about the standards in a pool, enhanced what those standards were. Why choose us? What makes us different than brand X, Y, and Z? And there again, a nice thank you. This was all built in Pool Pro Office in less than 10 minutes and either printed or emailed to the client, which I always print and always set that appointment. I'm not a big fan of email and estimates and proposals. But that's an idea of what you can develop and what you can send out of Pool Pro Office, simplifying that sales process of uh, giving an estimate. In this lead folder and the management, we can also sort by hot and cold status. So I can bring all my hot ones to the top. I can by contract date, by interested in, 
I can also create custom lead reports from timeline. So if I wanted to review last week's reports or last month's, I could. Uh, you can do a search for leads. You can export to Excel. Uh, so this is better than any Excel spreadsheet out there when it comes to leads management. And it'll help you sell more pools. We have today's appointment calendar which would show all scheduled appointments on a calendar. Uh, th so those are all scheduled appointment, the designer. You can also move them around if you need to reschedule, change the date, you got the option, drag and drop. And from the calendar, the little magic wheel allows you to actually text or email the customer from the calendar or go to that lead page. And when you close, you stayed in the calendar. So you can also filter this calendar by designer. So if you have multiple designers, you can filter it by each designer with a filter, uh, text filter. We have today's appointment map. Oh, I have no appointments for today. <laughs> so that would give me a map of the appointment schedule for today. Uh, we also have Sales Presentation Pro that allows you to create a digital slideshow. In my opinion today, the best presentation tool is an iBooks author sales presentation book built on the iBooks author and on the iPad. So that's the sales and you'll have report capabilities down here. We'll move on. Once you sell that job, you will move it over into a digital project folder. That digital project folder will have everything you need to know about that client. This is what started Pool Pro Office, is chasing manila folders around the office all day long. I wanted to type in the name, be it in seconds. If I needed to look at that contract, I could view the contract. If I needed to look at the sales design sketch, I could view that. Site survey. Somebody may have had a question on the process of the permit. I could view those permit processes and store those permit documents in here. So these are all storage containers that you load your documents that you're typically hunting for that Manila folder for. The first on the right hand side are the schedule of events. First is your schedule. This allows you to schedule every milestone out. Who's going to do it? Store notes. Assign the start date, end date. And if you had if you were out in a job site, you could add documents or images. So here was one that I added a document or image. And that's the picture of the backyard from the iPad out in the field into the database. You also have the ability to create custom email templates at any given milestone to send to the customer to inform them of where they are in the process of that construction. You could also email a snapshot of the schedule without the notes for the customer to know what's on their schedule. I've never been a big fan of customer portals where the customer sees your schedule because you're gonna change that schedule and they're gonna to wanna to micromanage it. There's also the ability to print a summary of the schedule with everything on it. And that's typically for management use. So we have the scheduling tab and everything you schedule here is going to go to the ultimate calendar again. You can create your change orders here. You can email them, you can print them, you can store the signed document in here. If you're on a mobile device, you can take the signatures and it will add it to your accounting tab. So it stores everything about change orders in this uh, solution for that customer. You can email out a Pool Pro office and that enables you to have a record of all those emails, whether it's emails, it could be a work order, it could be for materials, and I can view the detail of that work order. So we have a record of all those work order communications or text communications. And the beauty of uh, Pool Pro Office communications is when I create a new communication, I can send it to the customer or to in-house or subs from, I can add attachments, I can copy people, I can add messages, most importantly, I can add the customer construction plans to any email without going and hunting for that plan on my computer somewhere and attaching it to an email. I just click which one I want to attach or multiple I can attach. 
I can add the specification sheet to this email. I can add a checklist to this email. So I can do this all in one location in email communications in Pool Pro Office. Project info is going to have your info on the project, who sold it, who scheduled it, contract amount, mailing, physical address, special codes, gate codes that go on work orders and service orders, and special hidden client notes, uh, very important person, bad dog. You also know who you, you can assign your engineer, your electrician to this, so you know who was responsible on this project for those phases. You can also filter by milestone from start to finish, and it'll give you calendar days and work days. Your construction drawings. This gives you a library of all your construction drawings. You can open these up, view them. This is great out in the field on the iPad because the service the super no longer needs to carry plans. He can carry his iPad, pinch and pull, and the resolution stays spectacular. So we have construction drawings. It stores and archives the old ones in here. Construction work orders allows you to create a master list of work orders that go into each project that you can then process and customize. Uh, so you can set those up and send those out and email and, and it'll put it on a work order calendar too. There is a service order button in each project folder that allows you to create if you this customer continues on with a pool maintenance reoccurring events or if they want to create a service or warranty call per visit, openings, closings, you name it, uh, this service does complete service uh, department. As you stored images, it's going to have all your images one by one listed here. And you can view those so it's easy to find that image. You can also store any service ticket images or any miscellaneous images. Checklist. This is the area that a supervisor really enjoys being in because they can pull up their checklist for any particular phase, which is 100% customizable. The templates are built already for you, but you can customize them. Let's take a pre-site inspection. The super can go out, make notes, add notes, add pictures, and when they were there. So they're very detailed checklists. Punch list items is actually my favorite because super lists what they are, add notes, images of it, who they assign to complete this and track when it's done and get the customer's signature on the iPad when they're there. So it helps you manage those punch list items. The next is a site super can create customer visit logs and that would give you the view of what they visited, the date they visited, what they saw in the picture related to it. So the site super visitation log is new, but it's spectacular. Project specifications allows you to list all the equipment that's on this pool, the specs, pumps, filters, lights, heaters, and that way you know when you installed it, what you installed, serial numbers, warranty date, uh, you know what's on this pool before you even go out to service it. And the last but not least and most important is actually your accounting tab. This allows you to create the draw schedule, print or email invoices, push to QuickBooks uh, desktop uh, with a plug-in or QuickBooks online. We link to both of those. You can add, as you add change orders, it's going to list those change orders in here and you can receive payments against draw receivables or change orders giving you a total counts receivable. You can print the release of liens. So it's everything all in one place in this digital project folder. Also the customers, you can text, you can call them, you can email them from here. So it's got everything related to this customer and you can even customize this schedule per project. It's based upon project type and if you might even have multiple projects on a single address. A home, you might have a pool in the backyard, you may have a fountain or a spa somewhere else. And it will list all those that are related to this address. So that's a digital project folder. But most importantly, you're going to schedule this job out. And that's what Pool Poor Office is all about. 
productivity and scheduling. So everything I did here will actually link to my project calendar. And this project calendar will pull up your, your project calendar schedule. While you're in the ultimate calendar, you can also add or delete calendar views. So you can customize what you need to see in this calendar. If I'm in construction scheduling, I'm going to look at project milestones. I'm going to look at my work orders, which you can see they just added with wrenches, the black trucks, the construction milestones, and I'm going to create my company-wide events. That's going to give me any company-wide events or to-do lists. It may have something to do with going to the building department to meet with somebody not specific to this particular project or like I said to-do list. So you can customize this calendar. It's the ultimate. The ultimate calendar is all color coded. You can look at it month view, week view, daily view, and horizon view. So you choose your calendar view. You can see your peaks and valleys in in process. Uh, I like the month view as I, if you get a real busy calendar, lots of features, and I have pool builders that build 250 to 350 pools a year in this calendar. And they'll filter down to week or month or day. But let's take today's, this month's calendar. It's all color coded. These are completed. Green's begun. This one's uh, paid. That color is billed, not paid. These are construction processes this is a work order this is orange I got an issue I need an NOC for that permit uh, this gives me you can schedule out the yellows are scheduled out in advance so you can schedule out as far out as you want I have some clients that schedule their pool out from start to finish from dig to, to uh, finish in six weeks time and they build 250 plus pools a year without missing those closing dates the benefit of this calendar is simple. Drag and drop, no changing dates back in the project folder. All you gotta do is it drag it, change, and it changes it for you. But most importantly, is I can click on this milestone, I can add notes, I can change the status. This magic wheel is what makes it the ultimate. Because from the calendar, I can create a work order for this phase to backfill and compact. So I could send a work order to my backfill guy. I could create a text or an email to the customer. I could send out a templated text or a templated email I built back in settings for this milestone. I could go to my project schedule, change the schedule or add something to the schedule. And when I close it, I'm back, I'm, I stay in the calendar. I don't need to leave this calendar to do anything. I can do it all from the calendar here and close and stay in it construction specs, phone number to call the customer. So without, uh, this reduces navigating from project page to project page to do your scheduling. You can do it here and you can move it forward or change everything from the calendar. You can also, from the calendar, go to any active job, view the folder, and when you close, you stayed in the calendar. You could go find an existing project. Just search by the name, and when you close that project folder, you're in the calendar still. I can create a company-wide event to add to this calendar. I can search for any service orders that haven't got a schedule date on it to put them on the schedule in the calendar. So you as the scheduler can arrange your calendar whichever way you want, and you can also filter by text. You can filter this by job name, by, let's see, we want to look at money, right there you are, our decks, or let's look at a sub, Buccaneer still. Uh, so I can filter and sort this, creating instant color code reports on what information you desire to see. Can't be any quicker or better than that. So the ultimate project calendar is built into Pool Pro Office and is a major productivity feature in it. 
in project uh, management, we also have schedule management that allows you to sort and filter that data by milestone, by schedule, by status in a list view. So if you like Excel spreadsheet lists, it kind of makes that for you. Construction work orders allows you to manage all those construction work orders, uh, process them and see that they're closed. Permit report pulls up an active permit pr uh, report on what permits are in the building department. The job board's another feature that everyone likes because it replicates that grease board on the back wall or those cards you have hanging. The difference is this is digital and it allows you to create a job board from any starting to any my milestone so you truly customize your job board. The job board is going to have all your active jobs that are currently under construction on the left hand side, all the milestones and the same color code that's in the schedule tab. Blues are completed, greens begun, yellows waiting. They sync with the calendar and the job board. So all three of those are synced together. If I click this milestone that's deposit, I see I have an issue here. We're waiting on the bank to fund this project. Uh, I can go to begun. That's a deposit and that uh, has been. And I can also actually schedule out of this. So this is a new feature in this uh, digital job board is you can actually schedule from it. It's just not as productive as the calendar because it does not have a magic wheel. But it's a great visual feature that people like. Today's milestone map, active project map. Down below are more reports, production reports, any timeline, any event you want. It creates that production report. Draw receivable reports, change order reports. So it uh, allows you to create these reports with a click of a button and view them. So that's the project area. You can also create your master work orders and it pre-builds 90% of the data that's needed for all your work orders for every project. Next step is once you're finished building that pool, you're probably hopefully going to have to service that pool. And hopefully you don't have to warranty that pool, but the full service is a full service department. Uh, if this is a service only customer, you'll create that new customer here. If it's an existing customer, you're going to pull it up here or do a find and search in your database for that customer folder and create a service call for it. Uh, we'll have today's service calls. That'll give a list view of today's service calls by service tech. It'll have the details, description. You can change a service tech from here and we can go directly to that service ticket from here that we created. From this daily service call view, we can do a route map. We can service tech location. We can print the service tech work orders. If you'd like to do printed paper, we can also attach the checklist for that service type in a printed form. We can optimize the route for this particular service tech to get the map locating. Let's see if I have multiple here. I don't, but uh, it'll pull up the route optimization. You can choose from shop to shop or from text home. So it gives you that option. And it'll locate uh, that particular customer on the map and the route to get to it. Uh, if you click on that, it's going to give you the details. Easy touch not working. So that's your daily service calls. You can also print this out. You can create service warranty reports by date, time, service tech, status uh, from the daily call also. We also have the service warranty calendar, which goes to that exact same calendar. It just, it's going to show the service calls. And they're going to have red medic trucks and they're color coded the same. Blues are completed, greens begun. We've got issues here. The dog was out. Uh, so I'm going to have to move this one over to the next day. Drag and drop again, it reschedules it. We can also set timelines for these. And that can also be done in the daily view where you just drag it to the time. 
And this also has the exact same features with the magic wheel. From here, I can go to this service call, the ticket I created. I can send a text, an email, I can change the service tech or look at my construction specs so I know what kind of pumps on that particular pool. Uh, so the service uh, tech and you can sort this by text and let's just type J and it filters down to J. So instant reports from the calendar, all color coded. Uh, we have, you can, when you create a service ticket, it could be a work order or it could be a proposal. And this puts all open proposals so you can then process those, those into work orders, hopefully. Uh, service agreement calendar. If you have end dates for service agreements, you can put those on the calendar and view those end dates for those service agreements so you can make sure you go ahead and renew those service agreements. We can create service warranty reports. We can create all service receivable report with a snap of a button. And this will also give you a report that you can go and view the invoice. You can receive payments, uh, you email address and phone number. So this is a great place to go for collections. You also have the ability to create fixed pricing. If you connect to QuickBooks Online, we can sweep in those prices from your QuickBooks. So the service tech has the ability. The service tech out in the field also does not need to take paper. We can do the service tech from the field. And when they log in, they see their service calls. They go from one service call to the next. Uh, it'll explain what this service call is. This is a weekly maintenance, so it's going to have a checklist built in here for them to put their quantities and notes. When they're done, they can email this service checklist to the customer. They could attach an image to it in that email. They can track their service tech time. Uh, they can take a signature. Uh, they can view everything. They can add images. They can look at the construction specifications on this project from here. They can also look at the previous service calls. Previous checklists. So they, have, they carry the complete history of this customer, including the location map. They can also send the add an additional service warranty re request back to dispatch. If they see something on the job that needs addressed, they can send that back to dispatch to follow up with the customer and process another wonderful service order to make more money. So the service tech has their own view in the field on an iPad. Other than service, we also have reports. And it enables you to generate a, what I call a gas gauge of your company. It'll pull up your leads report, daily, weekly, current month, previous month. Sign contracts. And you can customize this, this uh, gas gauge here by milestone. Service calls. So this is a good indication how healthy your company is and whether or not you're increased or reducing leads, whether you're sales or service. Uh, so we have chart capabilities. For those folks that have retail locations, we have an option for you, ERPLI point of sale and inventory control system. So we partnered with a great point of sale system that looks very similar to our interface. So they can assist you with that point of sale and the information in Pool Pro Office and ERPLI is synced and linked, ready for you. Reports enables you to create sales leads reports, payment reports, sales reports, and service reports. So that's all it does is reports. You click a button and it creates that report. Company-wide page allows you to sync with QuickBooks Desktop via the use of a plugin or QuickBooks Online now, which is spectacular. Uh, we also have Card Connect. If you wanted to create a online payment process directly from an invoice, we have Card Connect. Or if you have QuickBooks Online, it does the same thing too. Uh, this is where you create your notification management. 
we can also change color code events. We can add company events from here and REST APIs. We can connect to almost anything out there, an app or a database that has an open REST API. And each client's record has a custom folder to accomplish those tasks. Settings, this is where you customize it. This has got your contact manager, your user account manager, who has access and what set. And you can actually hide and show any button in here per privilege set. So cust customization is important. Your logo, email works out of the box. Twilio is a email or a texting, which you do have to set up a text account. And this is where you really customize how you build your pools. Uh, there is a template in here that you customize, and then you choose what type of projects you build and which item goes in each type of project. So it's 100% customizable and unbelievable and flexible. You also have the ability to create email templates at any given milestone. Explains what's happening in the backyard, the need to water that shell twice a day, and by the way, your payments do. Uh, so, and you can also cross text templates. So this is where you customize whatever you build and how you build it. You have the ability to create introductory letters, adjust, uh, add and customize your emails. This is where we build the interview question manager. This is where you put your Excel spreadsheet in. So in, and your equipment, you can adjust the site super checklist. So this is really customizable by you. It's not hard coded. You choose your own adventure in Pool Pro Office and if you enhance it, you can make this thing sing for you. Uh, we also deliver the Pool Pro Office news. And uh, as we have updates or news, we deliver it directly to your desktop. So that covers the majority of the quick view features in Pool Pro Office. Pool Pro Office is available in three options. You have Pool Pro Office Complete, which is everything we just reviewed. We also have Pool Sales Pro, which is the leads management only for those sales folks out there that sell pools that do not have a leads management program and pricing and estimate. We have Pool Service Pro for those folks that only service pools. They don't build them, they don't sell them, they just service those pools. We have our great service program in here. So please, Give us a call, visit our website, and contact me for a full demo of Pool Pro Office version 15.0. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the demo.